What's going on there, YouTube? <gasps> Life with Twisted has returned! I, you know, that just still doesn't sound, that just, just doesn't have the right sound. I'll have to work on that. But anyway, how's it going, people? Today we are going to take a look at a little device. Which device might you ask? Today we are taking a gander at the Smock RPM 40 kit. That's right, people, the Smock RPM 40 kit. And what this little guy is, this is a 1500 mAh, 4.5 mil capacity, sub ohm mesh coil using little pod box mod thingy. It comes in a multitude of finishes and it sells for about 25 to 30 bucks on the interwebs. Not too shabby, not too shabby. But yeah, we're going to talk about it, we're going to look at it. And yeah, you know what, people? The best thing that we can do for this entire video is to dive down close and the best time to do that is right now all right folks and here we are with the stuff I'm gonna show you all the things right here in the now they got some stuff about their new chip that fires at point zero 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 one seconds let's go ahead and open this bad boy up see what we got inside we got a manual always good need one of those to learn the stuff also got a warranty card thingy and moving right along we have our battery this one's like a splash of color look at that a little some bitch there's that you get a couple of these dudes and they have coils in them already actually damn it I forgot to leave the coils in anyway there's the coils <laughs> but uh yeah here's the little things there's the stuff and get your bitch ass out of there come on get, why are you why are you being this way come on there, there we go micro usb charging cable okay so that right there is all the packaging and stuff folks all right now i need to show you some things okay all right folks let me show you the thing first okay so this thing's kind of cuboid-esque got some carbon fibre right micro usb charging instead of usb c i don't understand because they've done it on other stuff but here's a little comparison between the nord give you a size comparison idea good bit of size they're not really that huge but damn this one holds like four and a half mils so it's a big difference anyway so yeah it sits flat because it's flat on the bottom that's a big bonus you got a button and some stuff uh, pop this thing out like so makes connection inside there and you know what while we're sitting here chilling oh yeah when you pop it off it says pod detached you pop it back on pod attached let me go ahead and show you the stuff real quick all right so here's the screen got a little battery bar all the information you need right there you can change the colors by pressing the fire button and the up button see look at that blue oh fuck <laughs> it fired off a little bit yeah green fucking white you can change all the colors beyond that like you can hold these down locks the wattage and then only thing other you can do is three clicks locks the power and then unlocks it and then beyond that fucking bro you just turn the bitch up to 40 watts or turn it down and it's a nice little little colorful screen there we go there we go yeah we changed the color and stuff yeah and that's the screen that's that little guy and how it works you got a little fire button five clicks on and off you gotta see what's going on here a little cute little fella look at that now here's something crazy you get both of these right off the bat right and they're pretty much the same there's different colors this one says nord this one says rpm this rpm comes with the 0.4 ohm mesh right with the rpm coil it holds 4.3 mils with the Nord coil, this is the new 0.6 ohm, it holds four and a half mils. Takes up a little bit less space. But bro, that's a lot. And you got a little flap on the side that you put your liquid in on both of them. One's orange, one's black. But bro, it's all built in everything. But that's like, that's a lot of juice. They just pop out like so. They're interchangeable. You can use either coil on either one. But uh, yeah, there's that big 0.4 ohm mesh. He is a hoss. He is a hoss. We also got these new uh, RPM coils, the Quartz 1.2 ohm. They're ceramic. Really good for flavor. And uh, yeah, man, that's a lot of that's a lot of juice capacity right there. These coils and the stuff and the things. And uh, you know what? That's that's all the stuff I need to show you about this thing. That's how it works, folks. So uh, you know you can swap out pods and stuff. I got the 0.4 ohm in here. We're gonna bump it up to 30 watts. It says only 25, but let's get a couple of cloud shots in. Let's 
Not bad at the point four. Yeah, so for those curious, there's a couple of clouds on the point four ohm. All right, people, I showed you all the stuff. I showed you all of the things. Overall, it's a pretty cool little piece. It makes sense, Smock put it out. If you got a Nord already, it takes Nord coils, and they got a new family of coils. And they also have a little rebuildable section I've seen for these guys. So that's cool, rebuildable, four and a half mils. All around pretty good, 1500 milliamp hours, gonna get you through a full day. Uh, battery life's no issue. It's got a nice little colorful screen with adjustments up to 40 watts. Uh, doesn't have USB-C, but it is flat on the bottom. You can stand it up, so that's kind of cool. Uh, overall, man, not too shabby of a little kit. It's all right, all together. It's not too bad, and especially for the price. I can dig it, okay, people? I have links in the description if you want to go look around and take a gander. I don't give a shit, but I told you, and that's worth a little bit of something. Coming up tomorrow, we're going to review this skin flute that I bought in Mexico. You guys stay sexy out there. I'm out. Vaping saves more lives than skin flutes from Mexico.